Hey folks, welcome. I got a quick production tutorial today on how to manipulate the pitch of MIDI notes. Let's get into it. So here's a makeup I did of Passion Fruit by Drake. Let's have a listen. So as you can see, there's a few things going on, but not too many layers. What I want to look at is these claps I've added. So uh, on top here, if I isolate this, I've got just the hi-hat and snare. And I decided I wanted to add some claps to it below, and I'll just have a listen to that. They sound pretty good, but I'm going to try and make them higher in pitch, make them a little brighter. So normally what I would do if I was trying to tune up an instrument is I'd grab uh, the note and I'd uh, modulate the pitch by hitting change pitch. But when we're working with MIDI notes, what you'll see is uh, on this drum machine, the claps only exist on this E flat here. And they're calling this E flat one. So when I go to change the pitch, let's say, a full octave, 12 half steps, what I end up with is a totally different instrument on this E2. So that's not going to work for us. I'm just going to undo that. So what I'll need to do instead first is export them as an audio file. And then import them again. Okay, so it's imported as an audio file, and if I just listen to this, I can hear they're the exact same pitch as these original ones. But since they're an audio file, they're a little bit more malleable. What I can actually do here is make sure it's selected, change pitch, and now when we listen back, it's a little bit brighter. Okay, let's hear how this sounds with the mix. I'm going to keep the original muted. Okay, so that's pre sounding pretty good. I'm just going to add one more clap in here. And this one I'm going to pitch lower. So I'm going to import new clap. And for this, I don't need the whole length of the track. I'm just going to shorten this either by dragging the cursor or coming close to it and splitting. Okay, so let's listen to this by itself. And when I change the pitch, so I'm going to add this in a couple spots. So I've added a little bit more depth to this project by modifying some MIDI clap sounds by exporting them as audio files and then changing the pitch. Hopefully this brief tutorial will help you in your own productions. Feel free to share your music anytime and let me know if you have any questions.